Mafia 2 short video game review. You are Vito Scaletta, a Le Italian American immigrant who refuses to end up like your father. Broke his back working at the docks and drank himself to death, basically. He left a debt of $2,000 with, you know, your mother and your sister, so you go into the mob to help pay it off. Not long after, however, Vito completely stops caring about his family and cares purely about material possessions. The game fixes a lot of the of the bigger problems with the flawed but incredibly impressive first one, but it also took away almost everything good about it. The Gameplay is much less frustrating, and the shooting is more fun and now has an actual cover mechanic, although not a very impressive one. But it's just, yeah, it's it ends up no nowhere near the quality level of the first one, and it really does not stand up against its competition. And this is completely without bringing Grand Theft Auto into it. And the reason you shouldn't bring Grand Theft Auto into it is because this has nothing resembling an open world. The first one at least had the separate mode in which you could just go anywhere and do what you, you know, basically what you wanted. In this, yeah, I mean, you can you can buy clothes, you can rob stores, you can crush cars in an auto yard for money, and you buy you you can buy weapons, but it, you know, the, the game might just take away your weapons, your clothes, everything but your, your cars, which in the shared garages, no matter where you're currently living, you know, tiny garage fits 10 cars, you know, really breaks the realism that the rest of the game works so hard to create. And it's just... At the end of the day, you, you end up feeling like you're almost being punished for trying to go for the clothes and the, you know, getting the, the bigger guns. You can, you can pick up basically anything you need gun-wise and ammo-wise just during the actual shootouts, which are fine. They're much less frustrating than the first, but yeah, it just has nothing on... Yeah, you know, it's it's competition. Both of these have been somewhat compared to Max Payne. I mean, maybe Max Payne 3, but otherwise, I'd rather be playing Max Payne than this. But the, the, the car handling is still just meh, and though there are substantially less cars in this, most of the cars are actually worth you know, I, I don't think I ever stole a car that wasn't good enough for my purposes. And, yeah, there's still a ton of driving at, at this. In this one, I believe it's around 60%. And a mission will start and end with just you walking out of your apartment, driving. Maybe you drive to get pick up your, your buddy Joe. Maybe you then finally drive to where you get the mission. At the end of the mission, you might just have to drive... Joe back, walk him to his door on the third floor, drive back to your own place, walk up to your third story door, then the mission can finally end. The driving ends up feeling like a chore. The, the police AI is really inconsistent. The, the missions are almost entirely forgettable. They're, they're hardly ever creative. And though the they'll tend to have twists that means that the mission doesn't end the way you maybe expect it to, or there's a little bit more to do afterwards. But there's just there's almost nothing interesting as far as mission design here goes. The game is it took me eleven hours to complete compared to the twenty hours for the first one. And while that might make you at first think, oh, so it's like half as difficult. Nope, it's just about half as long. And there's, yeah, the, the characters in the story are entirely forgettable, entirely stock. You, you do not care about this protagonist, and there's no, like, 
real reflection on the in the first one there's there's substantially less reflection on what toll it takes in the first one your character was sympathetic he was an everyman pulled into this world against his will in this one you know sure you start out with good intentions but as soon as that's done with it becomes entirely about just Vito stroking his own ego and yeah there's just there's almost nothing here and it's a huge letdown and one can only hope that you know this came out eight years after the flawed but otherwise really solid first one and the the new one the third one is set for this year so six years after this one one can only hope that in this one in yeah they didn't inexplicably rush through it if you like this review and one more detailed one the link is in the description box every other parts of this franchise the links are in the description box please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more content